All right, good evening, church. Good visiting going on, good fellowship going on. A lot of full bellies. If you came for our meal, we had breakfast for dinner. Learned how excited people were for breakfast for dinner. <laughs> kind of ran out of some, some items, but it was a great meal. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you're here tonight. A few announcements before we begin. If we miss any, please let myself, one of your elders, or Jamie know. We'll get it announced. Continuing to follow Roger Moore, he started dialysis on Saturday. Josh has said uh, the dialysis is doing him a lot of good, but he still needs our prayers. He's currently in the Methodist Hospital in Memphis, so continue to pray for him and his family. Eva Looper's test showed an aggressive mass that is indicative of cancer. So Sister Eva is in need of your prayers desperately right now. She's being referred to a gynecological oncologist. Uh, I stumbled through that, but I think that's correct. Shane Richmond's mother, Susan, has an infection she can't seem to get rid of in her finger, so please pray for her. Uh, the Rileys continue to need your prayers, George and Lenny, as George is in rehab and Miss Lenny recovers from her back. Uh, if you missed it, we purchased, the elders purchased a bus to use as a church family, primarily by our teens. It's parked behind the building. If you'd like to see it, we're very excited about this uh, new opportunity. We'll put it to great use. Thank you, elders, for that. Ladies, you'll meet for your devotional, 10 a.m. this Thursday. Uh, it, a little note here, they're wrapping up their current study and will be starting a new book soon. So if you haven't been coming because you're missing out, uh, this is a time now to come and begin a new study. It's been an excellent thing so far. Our Wednesday night meals kicked off tonight, this evening. If you missed it because you weren't aware of it, meals start at 5.15 every Wednesday. Uh, please see Mike if you'd like to help with that. Uh, many hands make light work. We could always use help there. Next week's meal will be spaghetti. And the, uh, the children's home has asked if our family would provide desserts for their homecoming. Desserts will be needed uh, to be dropped off by September 22nd here at the church. So if you'd like to help, I saw a sign-up list in the foyer. So sign up for that. Support the children's home. Miss Carolyn Linderman uh, went to the emergency room, and she needs prayers for quick treatment. Hopefully someone can see her soon uh, so she can get treated quickly and recover quickly as well. Nothing too serious, but certainly in need of our prayers for Miss Carolyn. And then the last thing I have is David Gibson requests prayers. He's going to Romania in the morning. He's, he's got a great heart for the, the kingdom of God and the, the efforts in Romania. So pray for him as he goes off on his work. That's all that we have. If we missed any, again, please let us know. Serving tonight, Ron Marshall will have our opening prayer. Daniel Rickman going to lead us in songs, do a wonderful job like always. Love his heart. Zach Goza will do a devotional for us, and then Cameron Kinnabe will have our closing prayer. We'll start now with a word of prayer. Pray together. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that we have to gather together on this day to this great land that we do live in that allows us to assemble unmolested. We have our trials and struggles, but we know that your will will be done in the end. For those of our congregation and loved ones who are sick, we ask that you give them healing. For those that are suffering from diseases, that you give them comforts. Heavenly Father, we have many young families in this congregation with small children. We ask that you watch over them, strengthen their marriages, be with them as they struggle, that go with raising children. In the end, may they be strong Christians and good examples. We ask a special prayer for David as he prepares to travel to Romania. We give him safe travel, fruitful work in your kingdom, and safe return. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry, from the waters lifted me, now safe am I. Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. All my heart to him I give, ever to him I'll cling. In his blessed presence live, ever to his praises sing. 
Love so mighty and so true merits my soul's best songs. Faithful, loving service to, to him belongs. Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. Souls in danger look above, Jesus completely saves. He will lift you by his love out of the angry waves. He's the master of the sea, billows his will obey. He, your Savior, wants to be, be saved today. Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me, love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. We shall assemble on the mountain. We shall assemble at the throne with humble hearts into his presence. We bring an offering of song, glory and honor and dominion unto the Lamb, unto the King. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing the song of the Redeem. We shall assemble in his memory to come and gather at his feet. His love compels us to his table. With one another we shall eat glory and honor and dominion unto the Lamb, unto the King. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing the song of the redeemed. And at the end of our journey, we shall bow down on bended knee, and with the angels up in heaven, we sing the song of victory, glory and honor and dominion, unto the Lamb, unto the King. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing the song of the redeemed. I want to share with you Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And they read as this. Therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true worship. Don't be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is good, pleasing, and perfect, the will of God. I wanted to entitle this Renewal Wednesday because I want to present an offer 
to each and every one of us here tonight for renewal. Romans says that if you want to know the good and perfect will of God, it takes one thing, a renewal, a transformation, something completely different to what you're used to. No longer conformed to this world, but transformed. By what? By the Spirit. We are a unique and odd people. We don't do things the same way the world does them. We do things in the hope of seeing the will of God. You know what the will of God is? It's us. It's us. The will of God, if you want to wrap it all up, is the fact that He loved us so much that He gave His one and only Son for you, for me, and for everyone in the world so that we could be with Him forever and so that He could take you and wipe away your tears, take away your pain, and be with you and be your God forever. That is the will of God. But you only see that one way, renewal. So I ask you, in this closing statement. If you truly are a Christian, are you renewing yourself each and every day? How is that done? How many opportunities did you have this week to renew yourself and to show the love of Christ to those around you? How many times did you stumble and you fall in your sin this week and the grace of God came and picked you up and dusted you off and told you that you were loved? but you kept going the way of the world. We all do it. So I challenge all of us here tonight to seek the will of God, to seek Him and to find our joy in Him, and to renew your minds, to renew your spirit tonight. That might be just where you're sitting right now in your chair, and that's okay. That might be with one of our, our leaders or brothers or sisters here in the auditorium later. That might be you need to come forward here tonight and share it with our brothers and sisters. Whatever the need you have, whatever the desire you have, understand one thing. You were bought by a God that was so joy, overjoyed to have you that he gave his one and only son to die for you. You are not your own anymore. So don't you ever let this world tell you that you're not good enough. Because your God says you are because of his mercy and his grace. If you need to be renewed tonight, whether through baptism, through prayers, we invite you to come as we stand and we sing this song. Sing to me of heaven, sing that song of peace. From the toils that bind me it will bring release. Burdens will be lifted that are pressing so. Showers of great blessing o'er my heart will flow. Sing to me of heaven, let me fondly dream of its golden glory, of its pearly gleam. Sing to me when shadows of the evening fall. Sing to me of heaven. Sing the sweetest song of all. Sing to me of heaven as I walk alone. Dreaming of the comrades that so long have gone. In a fairer region among the angel throng, they are happy as they sing that old sweet song. Sing to me of heaven, let me fondly dream of its golden glory, of its pearly gleam. Sing to me when shadows of the evening fall. Sing to me of heaven, sweetest song of all. Sing to me of heaven tenderly and low, till the shadows o'er me rise and swiftly go. 
When my heart is weary, when the day is long, sing to me of heaven, sing that old sweet song. Sing to me of heaven, let me finally dream of its golden glory, of its pearly gleam. Sing to me when shadows of the evening fall. Sing to me of heaven, sweetest song of all. Let us pray. Holy, righteous, and heavenly Father, we humbly come before thee now to thank you once again for this wonderful and beautiful day that you've blessed us with. Father, we're thankful for this opportunity to gather together to sing songs of praise unto you and to hear more of your word. We pray that now as we depart into our classes that the things that the teachers have prepared be according to thy will and those of us who are in attendance listen with an open mind and an open heart as that way we can apply the things that we learn here tonight to our daily lives. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. <laughs> 